Well, I'm on Facts of Mars, and Snopes has done a, taking a cheap shot at Donald Trump. And this really did happen. There was a 1950s Western TV series called Trackdown. I never heard of it until today. It featured a character named Walter Trump who claimed that he would build a wall in order to protect the town from the end of the world. I watched the footage, he, uh, sitting there saying that there'll be some kind of a cosmic catastrophe, and if they didn't build the wall, they would all die. He was offering to build the wall for them in exchange for God knows how much money. In November 2016, uh, Clip from an episode of the 1950s Western television series, Trackdown was published on YouTube, along with a claim that predicted Donald Trump by featuring a snake oil salesman named Trump, who claimed that only he could prevent the end of the world by building a wall around the town. The TV series Trackdown really did produce an episode featuring a Trump character who came to the town claiming that he could prevent the end of the world by building a wall and also sold special force propelling of umbrellas to deflect meteorites. The episode S1E30 aired on CBS in 1958 and was titled The End of the World, featuring actor Lawrence Dobb, Ken in the role of Walter Trump. A synopsis of the episode from Classic TV Archive reads as follows. Walter Trump, a con man, puts on a long robe and holds a tent meeting in the town of Talpa. He tells the townspeople a cosmic explosion will rain fire on the town. He's the only one who can save them from death. Ranger Ho Hobie Gilman attempts to prove that Trump is a fraud. Now, this is an obvious uh, cheap shot at Donald Trump. I mean, why would you even have to verify this on YouTube if it's there? Anybody uh, knows about it can go on there. Anybody who stumbles across the video can see that they are talking about Walter Trump. Of course, the wall that Donald Trump wants to build is for an entirely different purpose. It's because we are being invaded from the South, and that's no fiction. You see, the snake oil salesman and so invented a fictional problem. That's the difference here. Donald Trump didn't invent the problem. The liberals leaving the door wide open inventing the problem. By not enforcing the laws, they've encouraged this flood of uh, people from the South invading our country and straining the system to the point where we won't be able to sustain anybody. Turning us into a third world country because they're globalists. Yeah, the episode is real, but this, in my opinion, is just a cheap shot by Snopes and Donald Trump. Plus, whoever posted this, they haven't looked it up on YouTube. Hang on. Well, here's one of them. There's a bunch of them. I'm not going to go through them. Uh, Marcy Braffman is one that they used the clip from. Basically, took a clip in the early stages, shows him all in his fancy robes and stuff, and trying to convince the townspeople that he, only he can save him. Totally different situation. But of course, you know they're doing this to uh, put Trump on, Donald Trump on notice. You know, hey, screw you. There's, that's all this really is. 
it's a cheap shot, that's all. I'm artifacts of Mars. We're used to this crap, so. But Snopes is not this independent, uh, middle of the road organization that they pretend to be. They're there to do hit pieces on um, uh, the right wing. I heard that the cat couple actually broke up, so I don't know what's happening with them, but they're obviously still actively divorced. It's all it was a husband and wife team. Couldn't happen to nicer people. I'm Artifacts Mars. Thanks for watching.